Hello, beautiful Aries. All right, we're going to do your full moon reading. Uh, your full moon is going to be on July 4th, and we also have a lunar eclipse. So we have a little extra kind of energy going on there. Nothing like the new moon, uh, where we had the solstice, the beginning of cancer season, Father's Day, uh, and a solar eclipse all in the same, like, 24 to 48 hours. So uh, nothing like that, but there's definitely a little extra kick here. All right, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Melissa, and I do the Zodiac readings based on the new moon energy and the full moon energy rather than dates. Um, you can see this for any new or full moon, but, you know, we do have these extra kind of planetary things going on, so it may not resonate if it's any other time. But anyways, I ramble. Um, so, yeah, the new moon being the beginning of the cycle, new beginnings, intentions, goals to set, that kind of stuff. We're looking at full moon where it's the peak of the cycle, where the things that you planted are growing, manifestations are starting to reveal themselves, and things that you need to kind of get rid of are also going to start showing themselves. That way you can get to a cleaner slate for the beginning of the next cycle. All right, let's pull your cards. We're going to do nine cards. Three cards for your overall energy, three cards for what uh, the moon is going to be revealing, and three cards for advice or actions to take. All right. What is the overall energy for Aries, please? Kind of give us an idea of what's going on situation-wise. Ooh, swords and swords. Hmm, interesting, interesting. All right, first, six of swords. This is kind of moving along to a better situation. Then we have the two of swords and the two of cups. All right, so what I kind of see here is I feel like a lot of these readings are somebody leaving somebody. Um, I feel like you are ready to move on from something. You're having a hard time separating yourself from it um, because you do feel a strong emotional connection. All right, we have two twos just came out right next to each other there. So I, I do feel like this is definitely a partnership, um, but I, I, I feel like somebody's moving on. I mean, you could be moving on together, but with the, the two of swords, I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like something's being cut out. All right. Um, communication's not, not strong. Um, you're ready to just move on or they are. Um, but I, I, I do feel like there is a definite strong emotional bond here. I feel like you're bonded. Um, but one of you is just not feeling the communication okay so let's see what we've got for the full moon what is the full moon going to bring up for aries what is the full moon okay showing aries all right that one popped out pretty quickly okay just make sure that was only one yeah yeah definitely okay so five of cups we have the five of cups where there are two bright and shiny cups right here but this dip is too busy worrying about the three that are getting away to even notice how shiny these ones are okay so i feel like maybe that could be contributing to what the issue is we also have the queen of wands and the ace of wands okay so yeah like okay see how she's kind of looking at him like she's admiring but she's not going to overstep the queen is powerful the queen is very practical does is not afraid to get her hands dirty she's not afraid to take action um but can can definitely rule from a very passionate standpoint okay so that that could be a person um a feminine type energy uh more on the mature as far as age scale not like i mean i would say i'm mature but not old that makes sense all right um she's just kind of like looking at him like when's he gonna see those other cups like stop worrying about what's gone it's gone um so i feel like that might be part of this two of swords energy where it's you, you're just somebody's having a hard time cutting the ties um because it because this is not gonna be it's not gonna be fun necessarily because you do feel a very strong bonded connection with this person um it, it doesn't have to necessarily be a person um uh, but i feel like maybe there's a new person because we have the queen of wands but we also have the ace of wands okay 
So this Ace of Wands is a, a new beginning. This is a person. Uh, I feel strongly it's a person doesn't always represent a person, could represent a system or, or an organization or something like that. Um, but I, I feel like it represents a person. You have a very strong connection to somebody, and I feel like this is a new person coming in. I say it's new because we have the ace, all right? The ace is our beginnings, inspiration, new motivation, newly motivated. I feel like you kind of, you, the moon is revealing to you these two cups, all right? You're, you're going to start seeing things for what they are and not what you've lost or gained from them. Um, you're just going to see things more in a practical manner. Like, okay, so I have two instead of five. What do I do with these two? Oh, those kids. Um, what am I going to do with these two? You know, that moving on, you know, uh, I feel like there's a, there's definitely something new here and it being right next to the queen of wands and they're both wands. I kind of want to say it's person. Um, it's a new person, uh, that I feel like you'll start to see coming around that helps you notice what you already have and helps you work with what you've got and kind of shifts your focus off of what the you know the connection that you're losing all right let's see if we have any advice any advice or actions to take please those really really want to come out are there three there are three all right those are our three of them all right we have the seven of cups the page of cups and the king of pentacles all right pay attention to what your options are that's that's kind of what i'm getting here from the advice he's i mean kind of there's eight cups so we have the seven of cups here which is about indecision overwhelm not knowing which one um not really uh wanting to pick okay you're not wanting to choose something but feeling overwhelmed by it and indecision uh, you know like which one which way do i go and then we have like the page here trying to add one to it like here's another one <laughs> like i know you're having trouble making a decision how about this one instead so i feel like there's the you know it, it's make make sure you're weighing your options make sure you know what you're getting yourself into um prior to whatever decision that you make um and then we also have the king of pentacles uh, so we have a king a page and a wand so there could be maybe children involved in some way um this could be just a family tie here. Um, it could be um, okay. It could it could be parents. You could be um, trying to move on from being with uh, your parents. Maybe you're living with them. It was supposed to be temporary, and it's you. You feel like you've overstayed, and you don't want to hurt their feelings, but you want to go. You want to go out on your own. Something like that um, could be the case as well. But I feel like the advice here is to make sure that you're. Um, paying attention to what you're getting into uh and uh you know you can you can turn to people if you need to there's two people here okay that can maybe possibly help you point you into in the right direction all right um uh, another very short reading but uh it is what it is i feel like that's the message and i don't want to overanalyze it because then it really won't make sense so uh we will uh discuss in the next video but uh, for the full moon, I feel like that's that's what's being shown here. That's what's coming to the surface is you were in, you had doubts. You had doubts. You weren't sure. You kind of wanted to move on from something um, very uh, bonded to something that you wanted to move away from. But you're, you know, you're worried a little bit. But I feel like there's a new person that comes in that kind of helps you see what your options are and helps you kind of, I guess, I'm here to do the research. Like there's, there's, you know looking into different options, knowing what you're getting yourself into. I feel like there's definitely somebody out there, um, you know, that's in your life that can help you. But I also feel like there's somebody new coming in as well. I don't know if it's the same person. They could be different people. Uh, but I do feel like there's definitely a new person coming in. Uh, but there's also other people that you can turn to. Maybe this new person you're not sure of. Maybe that's where the indecision or the overwhelm is coming from is this new person that you're not sure of. Um, turning to people who you um you know respect and admire their opinions um they can help you with that decision so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video don't forget to like share subscribe and all that good stuff if you want to see me again and i will talk to you in the next video thank you so much and have a blessed day